Is it possible for one to succinctly define Marxism? Like, is, 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 like, could you put it in a couple of sentences or is that yeah, just sure. impossible? All right. Well, I, first of all, we need to, we need to, um, I need to quote Marx himself on this point. Um, shortly before his death, he said in French, the only thing that's for sure is that I myself am not a Marxist. So Marx was not a Marxist. And the question is, who was a Marxist? Probably more than anyone else, it was Friedrich Engels, Marx's friend, political associate, um, long-term companion. It was Engels who invented the doctrines of Marxism. Um, and I've got to say, Engels gave it, it's, it's um, it, one might be inclined to really call Marxism, might be better called Engelsism because it's Engels' ideas about Marxism as a positivistic scientific doctrine. Engels, in his eulogy for Marx, said that Darwin had discovered the laws of movement of the natural world, and Marx had discovered the laws of movement of the social world. And so Engels, in conjunction with a group of younger intellectuals, uh, invented this doctrine of Marxism, which bears only a partial relationship to Marx's own ideas. Um, a German historian, a woman named Christina Morina, has recently written a book called The Invention of Marxism, which is a wonderful account of this, um, this English language edition coming out this summer. And I do recommend, um, I'll plug that book. It's coming out with Oxford University Press. And I do recommend anyone interested in Marxism read um, Professor Morina's account of how it came into existence.